so Sadie and Gurney Hurdle, and then your husband? Was Leslie Hurdle. So when Gurney passed away... 1974. Is that when your husband, Leslie, moved in to the house with Sadie? No, we were already there. Oh, okay. We had moved in in 1970. Okay. And, uh, and separated into two families in 1971 or 72. It, it stayed all separate, but we had never separated each other. Like the doors were always open between us. We were all one family, really. But it was divided into two, kind of? Yes, she okay. had her own kitchen, I had mine. I believe that it was built as a two-family house. And the bedrooms upstairs on Sadie's side they went from the front bedroom to the middle bedroom to the, to the back bedroom. And when Gurney was still alive, he put a hallway through so that each bedroom had their own door. But it hadn't been in the beginning. So there was no hallway upstairs? No they hallway. They had to go through one bedroom to get to the next bedroom to get to the back bedroom. Yeah. That property went from Claire Land Lake back to uh, the river, the Mush -mush. Mush Mush River. But when I went to Clareland in 1970, the, uh, Carol Ketty owned the big farm. Leslie and his father could name all the other Ketties. And that's, the land ran right down to where Lillian Ketty's corner was. And Mrs. Ketty the teacher had the big house uh, before you get to Lillian Ketty's Corner where the road divides there and goes down to the cemetery. And then it went on to the Ketty's down at Ketty's Landing today and where the mill was. So George Ketty is one of the brothers, so he was the one that lived in your house? Yes. Yeah. So now, there. as far as <laughs> as the ghosts go, mm -hmm. yeah. if you want to get into that, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> when I went over there and married Leslie, I like I said, I was seventeen, and we we were in the the back bedroom over the old kitchen, and you could lay in bed and hear someone come up those steps. And then our bedroom door would go open. And Leslie would say, that's enough, Mr. Ketty. Leave us alone for the night. And it would stop. Honest to God, I'm not kidding. And that went on for years, years and years that that happened. But that's the only feeling that I ever had in the house. And I can say... I wasn't afraid, even after Leslie was gone and I was alone in the house for some months, uh, I wasn't afraid to go out and come back into the house. I saw a woman standing there. I saw a woman standing there. Okay. He thought it was me. And, uh, and he said, I shook my head and realized that it wasn't because that the woman that always appeared was blonde. I asked my youngest daughter, Susan, who's 40 now, 40 some, if she had any experiences. And she said the only thing that she could remember was having this uh, perfume every once in a while that would come in her bedroom as if someone had just mm -hmm. gone down the hall. Um, we didn't, uh, Sadie didn't ever say she had any experiences. Her children have had experiences. Uh, we've had um, the blinds go crazy, you know, up, up and down without anybody being there. We, the other thing that we always said when I would sit by the window in my kitchen on the side of the driveway coming up, 
every once in a while you'd see someone walk past that window and I would get up to get a better look and there would be no one there and I saw that numerous times that I witnessed that myself that somebody would walk past that window